Hi, I'm Thomas the Hermit, and I am a lay hermit and a man of prayer, and this is my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, I talk about prayer, contemplation, mysticism, and I also talk about other things that concern me that are happening within the Catholic Church. Now, this topic is continuing a topic that started with Teresa Vavala, the great teacher of prayer, when she says the soul is like a diamond. Okay, and what is this continuing is this aspect of of narcissism. Okay, um, how and and self love, you know, um, self love starting off because she's talking about the soul being a diamond. And, and how great the soul is and created in the image of God and all these truths, you know, but how we have a problem within our culture with social narcissism and how that started. Now, this is the third video on that topic, and this is the final video. Now, here, I want to draw it all together, and I want to draw it into a spiritual context, okay, because if you think that you're loving yourself but you're really a narcissist, well that's going to really hurt your Christian life. And you don't need to be doing that. And and this is this is kind of how I'm trying to point to what I believe is the truth about narcissistic personality disorder and also what I have titled uh, social narcissism. Now, social narcissism, as I tried to define in the, the last video, is about um, believing that you have to love yourself because the school told you so, or the counselor, or the psychologist, or whatever, but you weren't able to really love yourself. What you did is you became self-centered, and thus you became narcissistic. Okay, and I call it social narcissism because we're all pressed into this thing. You gotta love yourself, you gotta love yourself, you gotta love yourself. And so then we become, you know, we don't know how to do that, you know. And the reason we don't know how to do it, and my argument my argument is, is that someone really needs to love us for us to have healthy self love. And it was supposed to be gotten from our parents. But when things go wrong, then what do you do? Well, sometimes the good news is a loving Christian community can help people mature into self-love. Also, a wise counselor or spiritual director can help a person to learn to love themselves by simply loving that person, you know. And, of course, the greatest answer of all is God can love us into self-love. But what is the difference between social narcissism these kind of fake narcissists that are being created as opposed to the actual pathological personality disorder narcissist. Well, I don't think there is a difference. And here's why. Now Sam Vaknin, who is one of the leading uh, voices about narcissism, and you can find, if you want to know more about narcissism, I really suggest you Google uh, or, or on YouTube, you do a YouTube search for Sam Vaknin. Now, Sam Vaknin is a diagnosed uh, narcissist, and, and he is also a, a psychologist, so he's able to really shed light on this particular disorder. Now, one thing that he said was that a narcissist can actually show empathy. I said, hold on. Now, they don't do it the same reason that a healthy person does. A healthy person experiences empathy, and then it moves them to maybe help an individual. And we need to be healthy in that. No, what this is, is the narcissist will be empathetic if he feels that it will contribute to his self-centeredness. In other words, if he can get something out of it. But by the very fact that the narcissist is capable of empathy tells me that this is a choice. They are choosing to be self-centered. And my message to 
the social narcissist is you have chosen to be self-centered. You didn't have to choose that and you chose it. Now, now instead of you choosing self-centeredness, you need to find a true self-love. And this is where I bring it in for the contemplative. Discovering true self-love. And I think a lot of people drawn to contemplation may lack in self-love. Now, why do I say that? Well, it's kind of something else I kind of saw on another YouTube video. I think he was called the, the, the Spartan. I don't think that's his full title. But anyways, he said that there are people that are kind of the black sheep of the family, and they are kind of like the healers of the family. Okay? Well, if you're the black sheep, you're the one who got beaten up on. So your self-image is kind of bad, usually. And contemplatives are the ones who have that interior life, and they do become healers. You know, spiritual healers. Sometimes they may even become physical healers or channels for God's healing towards others. You know, we can't disclude that. Okay? So a lot of you contemplatives are kind of probably beat up a little bit, all right? Allow in prayer the love of God to touch, heal, transform, and make you into something even better than your tormentors ever thought you could be. This is Thomas the Hermit. Let's let God love us, and let's not focus so much on trying to love ourselves. Let's let God love us so we can learn healthy self-love. And if God chooses not to reveal himself, I pray that someone will be sent into your life who will love you. It could even be a spouse. You know, it could be a brother. It could be the Christian community. It could be a counselor. But in Jesus' name I pray that a person enters into your life and loves you so that you can learn to love yourself. This is Thomas the Hermit. Say a prayer for me. I am praying for you, and I will talk to you later.